at were you still in the uh were you still firefighting at that time uh yes yeah, so I, I started off in california as a firefighter and then uh i took some time off while i was going to basic training in the military and got stationed here and a guy i worked with we got to talking one night he said hey bellevue has a volunteer fire department you should join and at that time, Bellevue had some requirements. For, they used to not let military guys in because we were always shipping out every so many years. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to spend much money training you, and then off you go. So you had to be in the area, I think, 18 months before you could apply. So I applied and got accepted and joined there in 1996. And then, uh, so I actually was in the fire department before I even met my wife. Okay. And then got married. Uh, so we did the fire department thing. And then in 2010, we actually switched from full volunteer to what was called a paid part-time program. It's modeled after a fire department in Minnesota where they started paying us to staff the station. So I can work my regular job during the day and then show up at the firehouse at six at night. So from six at night to six in the morning. So we could sleep uh, in the nighttime and then if there was a call, you'd get them to go. But that was no different than when you're a volunteer. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the reason we did that was we're a big city, you know, it's just 50,000 people in Bellevue and it was time to uh, start, you know, getting people paid. The trucks, we were having a hard time getting the trucks out the door, which affects, you know, almost every fire department across the country these days. So it was time to do the transition, and uh, so I was doing that three nights a week and working a regular job, and uh, then I did that for three years, and uh, then that's when I got sick and had to throw in the towel. So, so where's the tie to agriculture? I missed it so far. You haven't had it yet. How, how'd you get into agriculture? Yeah. So... Uh, so like I said, when I left the fire department, I was pretty down and depressed for a couple of years. And I got to a point where I had to figure something out to get myself happy because I was just miserable. You know, I, I wasn't a good father. I wasn't a great husband. I wasn't bad. You know, I, I didn't beat the kids or anything, but <laughs> that's good. I wasn't the best. <laughs> yeah. I this yeah. is on record. No, no this, self. Is good. <laughs> this is on recording, Hank. That's a good answer. Yes. Uh, I, I just, I didn't feel I was what they needed me to be kind of thing. And uh, so I have a shed in my backyard where I, I started doing some woodworking, making kind of some, uh, like the sign I made for you guys there. Uh, so I started doing that stuff, but when I was making woodworking, I needed something to listen to. So I got my phone out and I started listening to, I, I can't do sports talks. I just not a big sports guy. You can't do news because it's just, everything is horrible. So I stumbled across the rural radio on XM and I started listening to people like Rob Sharkey and the ag science guys. And I, I've been exposed to agriculture throughout my life. My grandpa raised, you know, he lived in an apple orchard and he had horses and sheep and so forth. So, so I just found it really fascinating to start learning about agriculture, everything from the science, listening to why do they put pesticide in a field or how does corn even grow, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and in the beef industry, there was so much stuff to learn. And so I got just... I found that the more I started learning about agriculture, the less I started forgetting about not being a fireman. And it kind of started making me happier. And then uh, through the podcast is when I finally found, uh, I started listening. So basically there was an advertisement that Leslie Kelly, I don't know if you know who she is. She's up. In oh Canada. yeah. Friend of the show. Yep. Yeah. So she was going to be on a podcast with ag state of mind. And I thought, and I never heard of ag state of mind. So I thought, well, if she's going to be on it, then I need to listen to this show. And it was just phenomenal. And Jason does a lot of work for the mental health and the agriculture community. And so that's kind of what just sparked my interest. I just delved myself into agriculture world to get, take my focus off not being a firefighter, basically. 